Here are five things I would never do as a licensed architect. My name is Dory and I'm a licensed architect in Ontario, Canada. For one, I would never try to compete with my neighbors. Context is important, but if you're trying to build something to keep up with your neighbors or compete with your neighbors, no point in that. Number two, if budget's an issue, I would definitely prioritize based on what is easier to upgrade in the future versus what must be done now. For example, windows, exterior finishes, thermal performance are very important to do up front. Things like uh, faucets or countertops or even some flooring is generally easy enough to replace in the future. Reminding yourself that putting the most expensive of everything into your house does not make for a good house. The most expensive flooring with the most expensive cabinets with the most expensive um, light fixtures doesn't mean it's all going to work well together. You've just overspent on something. Consider composition very carefully. Don't rush your process. Designing a home takes time. Designing any building takes time and you wanna make sure you give yourself enough of it to make proper informed decisions and to really think things through and to make sure they're going to be best for you. Number five, and this is my absolute favorite one, and most critical one, don't involve too many people in your design process. You wanna show your family or friends, fine. Pick a few people whose opinion you truly value and keep them on board. If you show it to a million people, you're gonna get a million opinions, it's gonna confuse and complicate things, and you might not end up getting what you want you'll end up spending too much time trying to impress everybody else. So stick to your circle and trust their opinion.